So if you notice to our program that we have used to create a window frame, you'll notice that these four lines are enough to create a new window frame, set a size, set a minimum size, and finally setting it to visible so it will be displayed on the screen. So let's go ahead and run the program. And we know that it will result in a window that bears the title Swing J frame. And you can resize it to a minimum of 100 by 100. And you can maximize it to any size you want. However, you will notice one thing that if I close the application, the application disappears. However, it stays here in the dock in case you are using a Mac and in the taskbar in case you are a Windows user. So when you close the application, it doesn't close this. It just becomes invisible. So when you use the set visible method, it displays the frame on the screen. And when you click on the close button, it just makes it invisible again. So there is one thing we can do and that will be adding one more line to our code. So you can add the code any way you want, but it's suggested that you add it in the beginning. So I'm going to add it in the second line. So just write the name of your frame, that is frame, and call the set default close operation method. So the set default close operation accepts uh, an integer for its operation. So operation is just a way to tell the method that what will happen when someone clicks on the close button of the window so here you can pass j frame and the j frame select the exit on close operation notice that this j frame is this j frame this is the class so if you run the program you'll notice that our application is running and it displays here and when you click on the close button it will close the application so so in the operation you can either pass the j frame exit or close or you can also pass the number three so the operation is an integer so you can also pass an integer so the integer 3 is already defined as the exit on close. So you can either write jframe.exit on close or you can use the integer 3. So let's try. So I'm going to comment jframe.exit and I'm going to pass here 3. So when I run the program, I got my application and when I click on close, it closes the application. So basically 3 and jframe.exit on close does the same thing that is telling the operating system that when someone clicks on the close button it should close the window. So let us just reset it back to jframe.exit. So to create a new main window these five lines are the bare minimum. So you start by creating a frame and give it a title. You set a default close operation. But what happens when someone clicks on the close button you set a size to be displayed on the screen you set a minimum size in case someone wants to resize it and finally you set the frame visible to be displayed on the screen